Today, I am going to demonstrate how to use the wiremock.net in your Visual Studio projects. In this video, I will create an API. I will be creating also a fixture. I will create an XUnit test and wiremock.net. I will not explain a lot now about wiremock because during this demo and while implementing the wiremock, you will understand by yourself what the wiremock.net is useful. It's a full demo project that will cover many things. You will learn how to create an API, how to create a fixture, how to create unit test with XUnit, how to implement the wiremock.net in the unit testing. So let's move on directly to the implementation. Here I already have a simple console application that I will be using to call an API. First, I need to create that API. I will add uh, to the uh, solution a new project, add new project, and I will search for API, and I will choose this ASP.NET Core Web API. I will name it Demo API. I will leave it .NET 5.0 and this is it. This is uh, an API, a default API created, weather forecast controller. So I will be using this API, this API in my demo. It's a simple get API that will get some data related to the weather. Now I will try to run the API from Postman. In order to run the API, I should uh, select the API as a default project. And I will run it. I will run the service. I press this IIS Express. And this is, uh, this is the URL of the servers running locally at this port, 44363. So let's try to call the API directly from Postman. I take the name of the API and I write it here near the URL and I will put a breakpoint. And as you see, the breakpoint is hit. And uh, this is the response of the API and everything is working fine. After calling the API from the Postman, now what we will be doing next is calling the API from the main console application. And because both of the projects are local, we need to set the projects uh, to run in parallel. For that reason, you right click on the solution and you select the multiple startup project and you select both of the project action start. So when you press start, both of the project, the console app and the API, they will be running. And now I will be writing in C Sharp the code that call the API from the console application. Simply, I give the HTTP client get async method the URL of the API. And I will print on the console whatever response data I get from the API. Now I will run the two projects and you see it hits, uh, it enter into the console app, but I, I am getting an error here related to the SSL connection. I will try to solve this error by sending a custom certificate validation with the call. So everything okay now and uh, uh, the API call passed successfully and uh, the data is returned uh, successfully also. Now I will implement the fixture. What is fixture? Fixture encapsulate common instances that are used by multiple unit tests. So for every test run, any method or code inside of the fixtures constructor will run for every single test. Usually inside the fixture, we initialize DB context that will be used by the unit tests. But here in this fixture, I will be using it to implement the wire mock method. So let's begin by creating our fixture. We add 
in the console app a new class and we call it fixture. In every fixture class, there is uh, two main methods, the uh, dispose and the constructor of the fixture. In the dispose method, we dispose all the resources that we don't need. We, dis we dispose instances and objects. And in the constructor, uh, there will be uh, the resources that will be shared between all the unit tests. Usually, in the constructor, we initialize the DB context. Here, for example, the initialize init database is the method where I will initialize the DB context, and I will call the init database from the constructor. But now, for now, I will not be using the DB context, so I will just commit it. I will be using this wire mock server run. This wire mock, serv wire mock server run it will implement the wiremock.net uh, uh, wiremock functionalities. So, first of all, we need to, uh, to install the wiremock. I will be searching for wiremock.net and I will install it. So this uh, syntax, wiremock server dot start port, we are pretending to uh, start a service at this port. Actually, there is no service running at this port, but we are mocking the service uh, and we are pretending that the service is running. Given, given parameters are the request parameters coming from the client. The client request contains the API path or route. What does that mean? It means if the request from the client with the specific route and a post method, then respond with whatever parameters you customize. Here in the response with, I choose to return a status code and a string response. I know for a beginner, it will sound a little difficult, but believe me, it's a piece of cake. It's just a fake service running on a custom port and returning custom data specified by the developer. So the same logic is implemented for using get and using post. So this is the wire mock implemented in the fixture. Now we will uh, moving on to the next step. So now after we finish implementation of the wire mock, we need to create a unit test. So in the console application, I will create a new class and I will name it console test in this console test it will uh, implement the interface i class fixture because i need to use the fixture in this uh, unit test so for that reason first of all i need to install x unit provide the fixture class name which is fixture and inside of the unit test uh, uh, constructor I will inject the fixture so that way I will be using all the contacts inside of the fixture the shared context inside of the fixture. Goal to create the unit test is to test this demo, this API. I, I need to test this API, but this API is uh, on a different project. And uh, generally it, it will be on a different uh, server. It will be remote API. So I, and I need to create a unit test to test this API. 
So first of all, let me create this, the method that will test this API. So now inside of this uh, unit test, I will call uh, the API. I, I will call it as I did previously in the console app. I will call it that way using the client HTTP client get async. Because the, uh, the method get async is inside of this unit test, I need to change from void to task to uh, async task. And here I will define my uh, unit test assertion. I will try now to execute the unit test. I will try in the test, test explorer to run all the tests, but uh, it seems that uh, there is missing packages. So uh, I will add the missing pa packages. There is the Microsoft. Uh, test.sdk it needs to be installed and the runner also visual studio runner it needs to be installed so i will install these packages and after that i will uh, try to continue the execution After the packages have been installed, I will try to uh, debug the unit test. And now it's working. I will debug uh, line by line. Okay, now we are calling the API, but now it should uh, now an error it will be thrown because the server you see we hit the dispose fixture dispose uh, in this case it means that there is a problem uh, this here in the dispose i will ch i will remove the throw uh, this line and usually we clean resources in the dispose for example we uh, the context we call the context dot dispose to to release uh, the context uh, resources so here what happened what happened here i am trying to call this api but the server of this api is not running it is not running even we have to uh, uh, to run the server manually or even we have to use the wire mock so we call the wire mock uh, wire mock server run that we already installed uh, implemented in the fixture by calling it with fixture.wiremock server run and the port number is the port number of uh, the service API where it's running the service API. The given path is the route name of the API. The response, whatever string response you want, uh, sorry, the status code 200, which mean uh, OK, HTTP OK, and the uh, response, whatever response, string response, you want uh, the API, the mocked API, to return back to you. And here the method is get, because our API is a get method. So I will try to debug it again. Now uh, the fixture dot wire mock server dot run, it will run a fake service on the port four four three six three. 
here uh, the service is running, the mocked service is running, but there is an SSL error. I will try to fix it now. I'm debugging uh, to see where is the problem and what is the problem. I guess it, it's a problem related to the SSL. As you see here, it's HTTP localhost, but uh, our service, the API, is running on HTTPS localhost. So we need to fix it. I will try to define SSL true uh, when the wire mock server is when the wire mock service start. I will try to debug it, but also it's the same error, throwing the same error. After some online investigations, I solved the problem by uh, running these two commands. Uh, these two commands, it clears the uh, certificates in localhost. Now I will try to debug it again. Here at this line, the wire mock server run, it will create a fake server that will get client request and return custom response. So now even the API is hosted on a remote server, no need for us to bother ourselves with such APIs. The unit test just mock the behavior of these APIs without the need to make remote requests and wait for remote responses. So this is everything we have today for uh, WireMock. We covered everything in this tutorial. I showed you how to create an API, how to call this API from a console application, how to call, uh, how to uh, create a fixture, how to implement a wiremock.net inside of the fixture and how to call the wiremock from a unit test. So this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like our video and to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.